Chip design is a complex process which involves multiple tasks or workflows, each one requiring many weeks or even months of exploring a large number of possible choices. Applying AI allows designers to navigate this search space efficiently and allows them to operate at near expert levels. In the past, we've looked at why applying AI uh, is important and its benefits. We've looked at how to get started and uh, when to apply AI in the design process in order to leverage reuse and scalability. In today's session, we are going to look at what are the several applications for AI that we've seen our customers uh, leverage DSO AI for? Hi, Mike, thanks for joining today's session. Uh, so let's get started. Tell us what is uh, the most common application that you have seen of DSO AI? Okay, certainly. The most common application is, is flow optimization. You know, this is where designers spend a lot of time tuning flow steps and tool settings in order to meet their designs, power, performance, and area goals. And with an AI system like DSO, designers can be very effective in identifying the optimal flow solution and also applying this to scale very quickly across other projects and other design teams, something we call cross-design learning. So given the benefits of AI, I'm sure we are seeing customers go beyond workflow uh, tuning. Uh, are there other aspects that we have seen customers uh, use DSO for? Uh, yes, there are. Uh, today, our customers are using DSO AI to optimize many other inputs to the design process. Uh, some examples that come to mind, uh, fine tuning which library cells will give the best frequency or the lowest power. Uh, determining which metal stack combination gives you the best performance or routability, like a DTCO type analysis. Uh, we have customers that search auto-generated floor plan combinations to find an optimal floor plan, or perhaps they take an existing floor plan that they have and they try to shrink the dot. Uh, we have customers that determine which operating voltage is going to produce the most optimal power versus performance trade-off. And we even have some customers that identify the optimum PG mesh architecture, which meets the IR drop requirements of their design. Yeah, so, so there's certainly a world of AI applications out there. Uh, but how can a designer get started with uh, building one of these applications with DSO? You know, when a customer starts using DSO AI today, we provide a customizable design environment, which we refer to as space work. Uh, designers can use these spaceware uh, applications as a starting point for defining their workflow applications for DSO. Uh, today, we have spaceware available for the most commonly used tasks such as timing, power, and congestion optimization. But for future releases, we are going to be adding more spaceware uh, for new workflows such as library selection, macro and floor plan optimization, and many others. Excellent. AI is certainly, you know, helping innovation all around us. Uh, so how much of this innovation do you see happening with DSO in terms of customers maybe developing their own uh, apps uh, yeah. with our platform? Yeah, in fact, uh, we see a lot of customers that really do that and they can differentiate uh, their solution to create new DSO AI based solutions. Uh, users can further customize the synopsis provided baseline spaceware apps and create their own unique permatons and metricons. Uh, one specific example is our IP team recently created a DSO application to optimize RDL bump map to, to address IR drop. And, and this is just one example. The possibilities are truly endless. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. That was truly informative. Uh, and for more information on how you can leverage DSO for your next chip, join us at synopsis.com slash AI. Thank you. Thank you.